it looks like we're going to hear some big news for Dogecoin from GameStop very soon. In this video, I'll talk about everything you need to know about this massive development while taking a peek into the latest updates from the crypto world. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. So before talking about Dogecoin and GameStop, let's take a peek into some recent developments in the crypto world. So as the crypto age is progressing, the overall crypto adoption has been quite positive in the ASEAN region. According to the FinTech in ASEAN 2021 report, in the first nine months of 2021, investments in FinTech startups reached an all-time high of $3.5 billion. This was more than three times the amount forecast for 2020, and this was a 424% increase over the previous year. To elaborate further, investment in the crypto sector increased five times throughout this time. So this is yet another example that crypto adoption has been increasing significantly in different parts of the world. Similarly, customers of restaurants including Bubba Gump Shrimp, Morton's The Steakhouse, and The Rainforest Cafe will soon be able to earn Bitcoin for every order. As per the reports, Landry's, a restaurant chain with 500 locations throughout the U.S., is teaming with crypto custody firm Nidig to create a Bitcoin loyalty rewards program. Diners will get one point for every dollar spent, with 250 points equaling $25 worth of Bitcoin. It appears that the restaurant chain is looking to reap benefits from the rising popularity of cryptos. Besides, I think this is not only going to help them, but also assist in the widespread adoption of crypto in the States. Now coming to the most important part of this video, a member of GameStop's board of directors Larry Cheng has recently announced on Twitter that he will take two days off this month to deepen his knowledge of cryptos. And it appears that he may be exploring Dogecoin to potentially use it as a payment option for GameStop. This becomes apparent after considering the fact that GameStop sees AMC as a competitor. And since AMC has accepted Dogecoin, GameStop will not want to miss such an opportunity. So as we know that AMC Theaters has now officially accepted payments in Dogecoin, people will be able to purchase AMC gift cards up to a value of $200. And due to the fact that these gift cards will be redeemable at other merchants, this development will indirectly promote Dogecoin into a variety of industries. Now the main thing to note here is that Doge is inexpensive crypto, so it enables a broader audience to purchase and use gift cards. And seeing this characteristic of Doge, GameStop will also try to reach a broader audience by accepting Dogecoin as a payment method. Furthermore, AMC saw a massive surge in its stock prices when it announced to start accepting Dogecoin. And since GameStop has been witnessing a decline in their stock values since 2020, they will definitely want to take advantage of the popularity of Dogecoin to get their stock back on track. And another reason behind GameStop's adoption of Dogecoin is that the most anticipated update for Dogecoin has been released. The 1.14.5 update has been released with the goal of lowering transaction costs, increasing efficiency, and resolving security vulnerabilities on the Dogecoin network. As this update has lowered the transaction costs, it will definitely allure GameStop. Furthermore, GameStop has already integrated BitPay and their users can already buy items by using Bitcoin. Similarly, GameStop can also use BitPay to accept Doge for payments since other companies have been using this feature. Seeing this, I think that the company is exploring the crypto sector while eyeing to accept Dogecoin, and it is highly likely that this will happen in the near future. So it is great news for crypto enthusiasts, especially Dogecoin supporters. Meanwhile, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that GameStop will accept Dogecoin just like AMC? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, let's talk about some interesting news for the crypto market from today. So it says here that the Indian government intends to take progressive and forward-thinking steps on the subject. And in regard to this, Indian Prime Minister recently chaired a meeting on the country's crypto future. Reports stated that there was a consensus in the meeting that the government's actions in the sphere of crypto and associated concerns will be progressive and forward-looking. Seeing this, I think that India may seek to align itself with other countries to regulate crypto since crypto's popularity has surged in India in recent times. So I think that we may hear good news coming from India in the near future. And if it happens, then it will give a massive boost to the crypto market since India is a big market with millions of people interested in it.
Besides, I think that Dogecoin will be one of those cryptos that will enjoy more benefits since a majority of the Indians are interested in it. Meanwhile, let's wait and see how things unfold. On the other hand, the executive of Visa recently stated that crypto is becoming a culture and it is becoming cool. So as per reports, he explained in a recent conference that NFT have attracted a whole new class of mainstream consumers to the crypto industry. The Visa executive continued, stating that those engaged in art, music, or culture are establishing crypto wallets and waves, excited to develop their own NFT and support other creators. Meanwhile, it appears that the success of recently introduced Bitcoin ETF in the US is inspiring others to follow the same path. So it has been reported that Santander, a leading financial institution in Spain, is preparing to offer a Bitcoin ETF to its customers in the country. This step puts the organization in the unique position of being the only financial institution in Spain interested in delivering this type of product to its customers. Besides, Anna Botten, Santander's executive chairman, stated that the organization has been developing this option for some time since their clients have expressed an interest in purchasing Bitcoin. And as per another good news for the crypto market, Alchemy Pay, a new platform based on blockchain technology, aims to usher in a new era of crypto to fiat payments. Carmen Tang, CEO of Alchemy Pay, has emphasized the crypto fiat payment platform's ambition to be a major provider of payment solutions. According to her, introducing real-world functionality to the crypto fiat payment sector is vital for mass crypto adoption, and she believes that it will enhance the potential of crypto payments and their applicability in the current financial environment. Well, I think that she is right since such an initiative will make the payment process with cryptos a lot more functional and smoother, and as a result, it will contribute to the mass adoption of cryptos. Now let's talk about Dogecoin's price analysis. So Dogecoin is currently trading sideways as daily price candles are falling in size and a clear price pattern in the form of a pennant or a flag is not visible yet. Although Doge price appears to be heavy, I believe additional fall to be limited with bulls prepared to buy any dip that may occur. And I believe that bulls will defend the 25 cents region and that Doge will break over the 200 day simple moving average at approximately 28 cents in the coming days. And since Doge has been trading sideways, it is better that investors should exercise patience at the moment as this would be a better strategy for them. Besides, investors should avoid panic selling here because it has been revealed in a recent survey that out of 1,021 US-based crypto owners, one-third have fallen victim to panic selling. So the takeaway here is that when a crypto is in a consolidation state, it doesn't mean that it is finished. Analysts have always recommended investors to be patient in such scenarios and avoid panic selling to avoid big losses. Meanwhile, I'd like to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor, so don't consider this financial or investment advice. It is better that you do proper research before investing in cryptos so you can make an informed decision. Now let's see the overall crypto market analysis. So the total crypto market now stands above $2.78 trillion and despite Doge and Shiba Inu, other major cryptos are back in the red again. So it appears that the overall crypto market is still in the consolidation phase. However, considering the rising inflation concerns and the stock to flow model by Plan B that has predicted Bitcoin to $98,000 by the end of November, I'm quite optimistic about where we're headed from here, especially for Doge. And even though the correlation between Doge and Bitcoin has decreased, we must keep in mind that it was above 0.9 just last month. So I believe Dogecoin has the potential for upward momentum. In any case, let me know where you think we're headed from here in the comment section below. And this is it for today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Goodbye, take care.